If you've been following me for a while, you'd know I go to a crazy university called Minerva, where I've studied abroad in six different cities across my four-year degree. And as they say, you appreciate a chapter of your life most when it ends. I think this just shows that Minerva's around the world. It is a small, small world. I'm really excited. I think this is the first time I've ever gone to a rotation city with Minerva. Oh. So I'm excited. I'm hyped. I'm not nervous. It feels like we're going on a holiday. Welcome to Manifest, a dramatically named one month full circle moment where my university takes us back to the city that started it all San Francisco. I give you the world like I promised. very cool circle honestly we stayed in this bunk bed room in first year and i think back then didn't really have an appreciation of our standards and what we could possibly have in a student accommodation so coming back here i'm like oh it's very small um but it's kind of cute because it's for the memories right i'm staying with duke for one night and then tomorrow i'm moving into my room with fong yeah i'm very jet lagged i'm just gonna pack and stuff in and get some bedding and a sim card and stuff like that. Wow, SF! Welcome to SF people. <laughs> Let me introduce you to my city. So this is Market Street, which is <laughs> the main street of San Francisco. And you go straight to this street, you go to Ferry Building, which is an iconic of San Francisco <laughs> port. Because this is where all the people arrive in uh, American Dream. Yeah. <laughs> and then it gets the shattered for them decade. before you go up this street. Have you tried these? No. If you haven't, I feel like I should make you them. Enjoy the place you are. Welcome to my room. Wow, okay guys, this is 10 times better than any room I've had in first year, wow. Joking. <laughs> this is a joke. Oh, I love it. It's so nice, right? This one is very nice. It looks very clean too. Yeah. <gasps> Wait, this is like a walk-in wardrobe. Wow. wow. And they have me an iron and an ironing board. So that for graduation we can look good. I'm happy. Good morning. I forgot just how sunny and gorgeous and full of blue skies San Francisco is. To be honest, it's more full of life than I am. I didn't sleep that well last night. Jet lag is definitely hitting me. It's a 14 hour time difference, which kind of just flips the day and the night on its head. Ah, look at the cute buses. I just moved into my room and I'm gonna grab some food. I'm really hungry. And I'm gonna go buy some cleaning supplies. Just do a bit more moving stuff. What? The building. Woo! Target, <laughs> Target run! I'm absolutely in awe of this light. This is so beautiful. Wow. I inherited these plants from a student in M26 called Sonia who left them behind for me. They're so cute. It's the city. Okay, so I think I bought everything that I need for the room. I just did a haul at Target with Lara. And now my main goal for the day is to unpack and to make this room feel like home. Let's do it. 
The most awkward thing ever about bunk beds is having to put the bed sheets on and the fear of the ladder breaking. <laughs> so we inherited a mini fridge from the students before us, which is such a luxury to have our own little fridge but it's really grotty, so my task now is to clean it. Finished and moved in. Conflicting feelings. So many hokey feelings. I know. Safety truck, money shuffle. And you have to tip everywhere. <laughs> wow. So what you do is, at Dolores Park, you walk all the way up and only when you make it to the top of the hill are you allowed to turn around and then you get to see this. <laughs> <laughs> Hello friends, so it is currently 7.30am and I woke up really early today and just really felt the desire to go for a run and so I ran a familiar route I used to do in first year all the way to the Bay Bridge and I just came and I've been sitting by the water and I did a 10 minute meditation and after the meditation literally out of nowhere just started crying <laughs> which I really wasn't expecting because when I first came running I felt quite numb I was just tired sleepy um but I just didn't really feel anything and then after this meditation it feels like all my senses have just enlivened and I opened my eyes and I just saw the water and the bay bridge and I just felt such an overwhelming sense of I'm here I'm in this place I was in three and a half years ago where I was such a different person where I was filled with so much hope and energy for what I wanted this experience to be and so much excitement and nerves and fear and I don't know I just felt that version of me returning in this moment very strange <laughs> if you ever feel like you have stuck energy or you feel numb firstly don't judge it because there's reasons we do that um, but secondly i really invite you to find a good meditation practice and to just really tune into your body and like not forcing yourself to do anything it's like often the more that you let go and release then your body like shows you things i have a bunch of work to do so i'm gonna go run back um, but I feel very, very different to how I did before. Oh, also during my meditation, it started raining, but it came at the exact point in the meditation where they invited you to like lift your throat and almost like point your face towards the sky. And so all these little rain droplets were falling on my face. 
and I just felt like this is this is casual magic right here like just a feeling of soft rain on my skin being like yeah I'm alive I'm here yes okay bye This is the energy of someone who has just studied eight hours in Capital One Cafe. One of the few benefits of San Francisco being such a working city is that it has all the huge companies like the banks at Capital One, like Amazon, AWS. They have all these wonderful large workspaces where you can go and sit and just work for ages. I've been working on my lesson plan assignment, which is due tomorrow. I will be teaching a lesson based on my capstone next week, which is scary. But it's so much work. I didn't predict it being this much work. I thought I was done with uni. But no, I'm still getting graded on a fair bit in the next two weeks. So it is important to let off steam, to come back to your room and just dance and exist. <laughs> Hi guys, um, I don't know how to feel. I've realized I had all these expectations of what San Francisco would be like based on my rose tinted memories of first year. It's been three years since I've been here. So of course I remember like amazing times with friends. I remember being at Mission Dolores Park and looking out over the city. I remember exploring cute cafes, going to cool careers events, speaking to locals, making friends in the city. But what I did not account for is just how different this place is to Taipei and what an extreme culture shock it would be. I think I'm very biased by where I live in San Francisco. I live downtown, I live in an area which is one of the most dangerous areas in the United States. Someone was even recently shot very near where I live and it's just, it's just not a safe area and it is somewhere that I have experienced homelessness and people without homes in a way I've just never seen before in my life. People here are just not supported by systems in the way that they are in other countries, especially in Taiwan, where I hardly ever saw homeless people. Like here, homeless people are just a lot more mentally challenged or on drugs and just like you walk along and like, it's just very common to have people shout slurs at you or to have people spit on you. And it's not that like the bad people, right? Like I have a lot of empathy for like the housing situation and stuff here and SF has just changed a lot over the years and there's just so many paradoxes in this city because there are some areas that feel like a utopia because of the tech bubble and then of course you have these very dystopic areas to make up for that sudden gentrification but anyway my ramblings are basically just to say I really don't like being here my first jet lagged impressions are that I really truly miss my life in Taipei. I don't like how sugary food is. <laughs> I don't like how everything costs so much money, it's crazy. I forgot that every price you see doesn't have tax and then tip added on top. Tax plus tip adds like $10 onto stuff. Like the cheapest lunch I could find was $16 plus tax and tip. I'm just not used to it so therefore I see it as negative like I am in comparison mode rather than looking for the beauty in what San Francisco is. I've just come from the most peaceful, safe, affordable, peaceful, incredible city and now I'm like oh the United States of America the American dream she doesn't exist. I was reminded yesterday that it cost two thousand dollars to get an ambulance what kind of healthcare system is this like the nhs isn't that much better but like this is it's not it i had such a shock i went to target which is like a supermarket and there are so many basic necessities behind lock and key it's like they assume that you're gonna steal it's just weird being at like the shampoo aisle and having to call someone over just to be like, oh yeah, I'll take that one. It's just a change, I'm not judging it. I thought I'd just share my honest impressions because 
San Francisco is not like the dreamiest place that I always thought it was. Like it has a lot of paradoxes and issues just like every other city. And moving across the world isn't easy. Anyway, I know with time I'll adjust and I'll find the beauty in it because that's my personality. <laughs> but for now, I feel very jarred and jaded. SF made on jaded jade, jaded. <laughs> Good night, guys. How are you guys feeling? Awake now. <laughs> wow. Hello. It literally looked like, you know, like an army is walking. <laughs> like a school trip. Yeah. Duke, let's reflect. <laughs> So our first reflection prompt is to think about who we were in first year at this time. <laughs> Fix the hair. Do, who do you feel you were in first year compared to now? Very insecure. I don't know. You know, when you just jump into an environment and you have to deal with the most challenges. The, the hardest challenges, you're scared. Wow. 